Hi friends, welcome back. I have one example to perform the crowd operations which I am using repository pattern here. Here I have one controller called product controller. Here we have created one interface to read the products from the product table. So this is the method which we implemented inside the repository class. I am going to read the data from the controller. I am going to run this application now this is our home page whenever we click on this product nav item this is going to product controller and it's going to read the products from product table i'll click on products here so whenever we are clicking on product controller we are facing this error invalid operation exception so this is the error unable to resolve the service for type this is our interface name it is trying to activate from product controller here we are calling our product repository interface and we have not added the dependency injection into our program.cs so whenever we are using any interfaces we have to add the dependency injection inside our program.cs class so i open program.cs i have to add interface here for that i am going to add dot I'm going to use scoped here I have to use my interface name that is product repository and I have to add the project reference which is available inside the infrastructure so this is this repository is available inside the infrastructure project so we have to add the reference here and here we have to pause our implementation class name that is product repository now I will build this application once again build it there is no error now I am going to run the application now I am going to access the products So now our product list is loaded without any error. Whenever we are using any interfaces, we have to add the dependency injection inside our program.cs class. That is main important thing. Like this, we can fix these type of errors. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.